there's a lot of data science use cases that go into QA testing, into making sure that the game is running smoothly, it releases bug free. We've seen a lot of disasters in the industry, for example, where you know games were released prematurely with a lot of bugs. We've seen a lot more attention nowadays being being applied towards QA testing for games. Maybe walk us through an example of how that looks like in action. What is a process of setting up a data-driven QA process? Okay, so um, this particular aspect of things, uh, we were actually working with the AI team um, uh, in our studio to develop those uh, basically those agents. So uh, it was not my team, but we were working with them to be able to provide you know the dashboard and everything. But um, the idea is you can like basically um, you know set up um, teach um, an agent to do different kind of actions or to learn from its environment and find stuff by himself. And then you can deploy them in um, a portion like uh, of the game or like any kind of place you would like to uh, to improve. Um, so they would be able to just play and they will generate data basically. And using this data, you will be able to determine, oh, it looks like um, this seems to be a problem. So for instance, if you see your agent are always falling um, in the same you know, uh, hole again and again, okay, maybe there is a problem and we should just get rid of this because it's very confusing and it's it's a problem. And the idea is um, you can generate so many of them and they can do almost anything in the game. So it's easier for them to find very specific, you know, um, issues that would be difficult to find for a human. Um, and so, and you can make them work, you know, during the night uh, when you're basically uh, like uh, sleeping. Um, so there is a lot of um, very interesting, very interesting uh, things that could be done uh, to improve the game based on this kind of um, of agents just playing it and uh, finding, you know, edge case and um, uh, of providing us with all of the, the data uh, they are generating when they play um, so we can analyze the data after that and say okay so this is what we observe so there is more and more um, a company I think that are going to use like this uh, this kind of QA not going to replace a QA professional um, because a QA professional is absolutely necessary to you know understand interpret the data see um, if he's seeing the same kind of issues uh, but it's um, it's a tool in their disposition basically to to help 